Okay, good morning once again, BSRT2 students. Welcome back to our subject. This is RT213, Principles of Imaging. Okay, so before we move forward, so we already discussed that there are four technique factors or the exposure technique factors. This contribute to, to the making of a good quality radiograph. So, sabi natin we have the KVP or the kilo voltage peak and tapos na natin may discuss yun. we already discussed the MA or the milliampere as well as the exposure time in terms of second combined together we have the milliampere second so that already make the uh, three components of the technique factors so the last one is will be the discussion for this morning which is the source to image receptor distance or this is the SID. So, bawal mo nang humugot yung may mga long distance or mga, may mga short distance relationship because this morning, mostly our discussion is all about the distance pero um, easy lang yon mga kapatid. Okay, so focal film distance. Ito yung dating tawag ng SID. Okay, so today we refer it as the SID hindi na natin ginagamit si FFD. So, distance is measured from the focal spot of the recording medium or the focal spot to the recording medium. So, kaya tinatawag natin uh, before focal spot distance or fo uh, ayan, focal film distance. So, from the focal spot, uh -oh, may marker tayo kasi sa X-ray tube and towards the image receptor or the film. So, to. so, tingnan nyo yung ginagawa ni John na May. So, there is measurement. Uh -oh. So, may tape measure from the focal spot down to the image receptor. So, there is a certain distance kung gagawa siya ng, ayun, baki procedure. What else? So, the intensity of the X-ray beam is affected by the changes in SID. So, the farther away one moves from a light source, the less the intensity becomes as the light is spread over a larger area. So, the same characteristics exist with X radiation. So, consider mo yourself holding a flashlight. Yun. Of course, um, naka-turn on ang light. So, I, ano mo, um, from a uh, near distance towards um, siguro uh, towards a wall ano direct mo tapos let's say 1 meter observe mo yung distance at 1 meter and then you move further let's say mag move ka ng 2 meters so what will happen to the light okay so does the light uh, uh, become brighter or hindi na siya ganun ka bright as before so that is the same analogy with X-ray radiation. So when we move the X-ray tube further from the X-ray film, mas bumababa ang kanyang X-ray intensity. So therefore, there will be some technical changes with respect to the distance. Ano yung magiging changes? So, x-rays are produced at the focal spot of the x-ray tube and exit the tube through the tube port. So, as the photons travel from the focal spot to the film, the intensity becomes less and they diverge from the point of origin. Yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, um, ito yung magiging changes natin. So, hindi pa pala, ano, excited. So, um, yung changes ng... Uh, distance at saka technical factor is hindi siya ganun ka significant kasi um, sabi nga natin there are specific distances when we conduct x-ray so in most diagnostic departments the SID is standardized for all procedures so in general radiography the SID is 40 to 42 inches yun yung mga let's say a hand Mga extremities, upper and lower extremities, uh, abdomen, uh, skull procedures. So, we have the SID which is of 40 to 42 inches. And in some other references, meron din silang given na 
36 to 40 inches depende sa positioning ng o or depende sa ito, specific area na gusto mong makita no so 40 to 42 inches or that is equivalent to 100 centimeter and in radiography of the structures of the thoracic cavity let's say chest x-ray so always yan nasa 72 inches kasi tawag nga natin diyan is teleo radiography which is dedicated to the radiography of the heart so kita nyo si Camille in the x-ray sa radial nyo so there's a specific distance so meron dyang marker sa x-ray uh, room may marker dyan for 72 oo hindi yan gawagawan natin kasi kaya ng picture kanina yung ginawa ni John na nag measure siya from the focal spot to the image receptor to the film so nag measure din before no from a certain point to the Mm, to the image receptor para makuha yung 72 inches para hindi natin sabihin gawa-gawa so you can confirm that with the tape measure Yan. so standardized again class so once you are using oh, kung hindi siya chest x-ray so normally that is 40 to 42 inches or 36 to 40 inches pag chest x-ray yon kailangan 72 inches kasi nga that is teleoregiography dedicated to chest radiography or the, the radiography of the heart kasi we are after the magnification of the heart so the longer the SID the shorter is the magnification later we will discuss that no? so 72 inches or that is equivalent to 180 centimeter what else okay so the relationship can be explained by the inverse square law yun yung sinasabi natin kanina that if you move your flashlight away or farther from a certain point, di ba, hindi na siya ganun ka-bright. So, if we move closer, mas nagiging brighter ang light. So, when the distance is double, the same number of photons is spread over an area four times as large, resulting in an intensity at any given point that is now one-fourth of the original intensity. So, the farther mas bumababa ang intensity. Gan ganon din class yung analogy when it comes to X-ray radiation. So, given in the first X-ray ginawa mo, you conducted at 40 inches SID. So, what will happen if you move the X-ray tube at 72 inches? So, meaning, mas bumabagal yung kanyang X-ray intensity. So, what will be your technical adjustment? So, are you going to reduce the MAS or are you going to double your MAS to compensate the decrease in the intensity of X-ray radiation? So, normally, kailangan i-double mo yung uh, MAS kasi nga kailangan i-compensate natin. Dagdag, uh, 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 i-reciprocate. Tawag ba dyan is parang tumbasan natin yung yung kahinaan niya nung mag nung magdagdag tayo ng distance kailangan palakasin natin yung or dagdagan natin yung amount or intensity ng x-ray beam nakuha po ba sige later we will discuss that so the inverse square law provides a means to understand how the amount of exposure to film can be affected when there is variation in the distance between the focal spot and the film so, ano yung magiging technical adjustment natin? Sabi nga natin kanina, sa inverse square law kasi, this will relate to the decrease in intensity with respect to distance. So now, our problem is what will be our technical factor change considering the inverse square law or the principle of the inverse square law. So, this came out after the consideration of the inverse square law. By the way, inverse square law will be discussed in your RT212, Radiation Production and Characteristics. So, that will be next week. So, nag-advance tayo ha. So, this morning, we will discuss the distance maintenance law. This is adapted or a practical adaptation of the concept called the di uh, direct square law or the distance maintenance law can be used in the MAS and distance formula. 
So, ito na yung sinasabi natin kanina. What will be the compensation? Ano yung, magi, ano yung katumbasan ng adjustment sa technique factor mo when you increase or you decrease the distance para hindi lalabas na maitim masyado yung x-ray film at hindi naman lalabas na masyadong maputi yung x-ray film. So, there should be an adjustment in the MAS. Kasi sabi nga natin, MAS eh, controls the optical density of the finished radiograph. Okay. So, if a satisfactory radiograph is produced with 20 MAS at Ito, may problem pala. Parang, parang excited lang ang kakabasa. By the way, class, this is just a short discussion. So, um, check nyo na lang yung email nyo kasi I will be sending um, ano to, online chapter test after this lecture. So, if a satisfactory radiograph is produced with a 20 MAS at 40 uh, inches, what MAS change should be made to produce an identical radiograph at 72 inches? So, ito na yung typical example natin kanina, no? So, what will be your adjustment given unang radiography mo, you conducted it at 40 inches. And then, you change your mind, gusto mo, kasi nga, chest x-ray ka. So, at first, sinabi ng pasyente na hindi niya kayang tumayo, gusto lang niya nakaupo. So, you conducted your chest x-ray at 40 inches SID. So now, inulit mo kasi ayaw ng doctor. Gusto niya talaga naka-upright yung pasyente. So, you repeated the procedure. Now, from 40 inches, gagawin mo siya or ikakandak mo siya at 72 inches. So, yung ginamit mo at 40 inches is 20 MAS. So, what will be the change in MAS at 72 inches? So, you now, you will now, uh, we will use the... <coughs> Distance maintenance law or the direct square law. Balikan natin. So, if uh, pensin nyo class, yung parehang quantity, for example, S sub 1 and D sub 1, parehas nasa ibabaw. No? Kasi nga, direct. Whatsoever will be your change in the second quantity, ganun din yung magiging adjustment mo sa second quantity ng counterpart na uh, variable. So, for us to find the MAS2, take note, two, two. MAS2, take note na yung counterpart na variable niya, the distance should be nasa ibabaw din. SID2 two, two, over SID1. So, this will be raised to 2. Kasha pa ba sa screen? Okay, so this will be our formula. MAS2 equals MAS1 quantity SID2 over SID1. So, this will be raised to the power of 2. No? So, take note ha, yung parehang quantity nasa itaas. Okay, sige. So, therefore, when we increase the distance, kailangan mag increase din tayo ng MA or ng MAS. So, for this problem, nag-increase tayo ng distance, kailangan mas mataas sa 20 yung magiging answer natin. Therefore, hindi dapat pwedeng maging answer mo is letter A or letter B. It's either letter C or letter D. Ano? Sige, let's uh, solve. In the right side of your screen, nandito, nandito si calculator. So, MAS2 equals MAS1. Uh, quantity SID2 raised to the power of 2 over SID1 raised to the power of 2. So, una natin, okay, so we have our given 20 MAS. So, SID2 is 72 inches. So, we have to multiply it by itself. So, 72 times 72, that will be 5,000. So, 10 MAS, so quantity 5,000, 5,184. 
So now we have 20 m uh, 40 m uh, SID no 40 inches yung SID one. So that is 40 times 40. No? 40 times ano pa? So that will be 1,600 over 1,600. Ano na? No, muna na bilis. So 1,600. So one ta uh, 5,000. 5,184 divided by 1,600. So this is equivalent to 3.24. So now you will multiply that by 20. So our answer is 64.8 MAS or nearly that is 65 MAS. So did you get the correct answer? Okay, very good. So, yun. As I've said, this is just a short discussion. So, if you have questions, okay, so that don't hesitate to ask me in any platforms. Okay, so, the formula shows that a relationship where the MAS needed for an exposure is directly proportional to the square of the SID. So, as the distance, distance is increased, the MAS must also increase to maintain the adequate blackening on the film. Yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, if you move the distance further, kailangan hindi siya mag-pipale. Hindi siya masyadong mag-white yung x-ray film mo. Kailangan i-compensate mo yung blackening ng film. Hindi porket nag-increase ka ng distance, i-decrease mo yung MAS. Kailangan i-compensate mo yung loss ng distance. Ano? So, that is the distance maintenance law or the direct square law, which is derived from inverse square law. So, ito, distance has no effect on radiation quality. Therefore, wala tayong technical uh, factor adjustment on the KVP side. When we increase the distance, so, hindi affected yung KVP. We only increase the uh, MAS, MA or exposure. No one. Okay, so that ends my lecture for this morning. So please check your email for your chapter exam. Thank you so much class for listening. So this has been your teacher, your host, your professor, your vlogger saying thank you so much for watching and goodbye.